Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and kind of explain a little bit of the war for the Atlas and kind of how to get started in it. And more importantly, how to accumulate your shape orbs again, since if you look, they're really not on the map anymore. Or the Atlas. So, the first thing to talk about is not everything I say will be like perfect, because I've only been playing for a couple days. So I'm not here to mislead you guys, but some of the things may be a little bit flawed. So, to start off, your Atlas will not look exactly like this. It's gonna be more like you're gonna see this sprinkly, sparkly shit everywhere, which is kind of, uh, shapers. Like, shapers presence on the map. So to get started, I believe you have to be in your tier 6 maps. Um, <clears throat> of course you can do this on anything, but I think once you start on your tier 6 maps, which is your yellow tier and above, once you start completing the ones that are inhabited by Shaper, um, Elder will eventually spawn. Now, when Elder spawns, you'll see this stuff over here, and it will be on one map or two maps or however it begins. Now, you cannot get a Shaper's Orb unless it is on a tier 6 map minimum. So, there, it's not like it was before, it's not like you have to do a specific map to get a Shaper's Orb, it's more you have to have the right tier and you work your way up. So, the first Shaper's Orb would come out of a tier 6 map. So, you clear your, your shaped area, you force Elder onto your Atlas, then wherever Elder spawns, you need to start killing away Shaper to force the Elder to kind of take over. So, as an example... If I were to do this cells map right now, this has a Shaper on it. Shaper will always kind of try to control Elder. So if you kind of can see how that works, like Shaper is surrounding it, preventing me from spreading, well, preventing Elder. So if you want Elder to spread, you have to actually clear the adjacent maps next to it. If you guys look at actually how the lines work in the Atlas, it works kind of like that. If my Elder is one, two, three, four, and I have Shaper here, by clearing this Shaper map, um, or shape or infused map it will force the elder to go there So if I needed to do a tier 6 map and then a tier 7 right for my shapers orb You can actually clear this out it opens you know clear this out it opens this and then vice versa You can kind of continue the chain So I want to go ahead and jump into the cells map to kind of explain how this little fucking pushing the tentacles works Because once you understand how this works everything becomes 10 times easier All right so just to confirm, this is what our map is right now. We're just going to go ahead and start killing everything in here. You know, I can't get through this door. Okay, we're good now. Well, I picked a really bad mo or map considering every single monster has fucking proximity shield. You'll also understand because, uh, or you'll know because you'll see all of these, like, uh, you'll see all of these little, like, pools on the floor. Uh, the pools, you can tell that it's inhabited by Shaper, and you do have a chance of finding one of those cool items that I can show you guys after. Mr. Elder, I mean Shaper, I mean Map Boss, where are you? There's a lot of shit in this map, man. They really weren't kidding when, like, they specifically increased the density. Well, not maybe not specifically, but it feels like they specifically increased the density for, like, <laughs> for cells. <laughs> Cast yourself okay, so now I believe... Here we go. I don't know if you actually have to kill the map boss or not, but let's just use this as an... Okay, so he spawned the little boss, but this guy kind of died. Um, so by doing that now, whether it was through killing the mobs or through, like, killing the boss, it now spread over to take over the cells map. So by using that method, you can kind of, you know, understand how to push your your elder wherever it is that you want. Now, vice versa, if you want to contain elder, you can just clear the map because it's inhabited by elder, and it will actually push it back or take it away or pull it away I don't know 
say whatever you want. So just to show you, I want to go ahead and jump into Cell's map again. Map boss kill is the key. Okay. And this one, instead of being inhabited by Shaper, is going to be inhabited by Elder, like you can see on the, the stuff over here. So in the Shaper maps, you can find, like, a bunch of Shaper balls uh, all over the place. You can find, like, um, I don't know what else you find. You find, like, some random Shaper mobs. In Elder, you have to be a bit more careful from my personal experience because you find the hentai mobs that you kind of see, which are these guys, and... Um, I do believe they scale with map mods like GMP and stuff. You also have to be scared or careful because um, What is it? What is it that happens in here? There are these portals that can spawn. I don't know the condition for the portal spawning but the um, The portals themselves summon a bunch of like super pissed off Katava demons and are more tanky than the map bosses Like the portals will probably be like two or three times more tanky. Can we go this way? No, we can't. All right, I'm just gonna portal out of here. You get, you get the point. <clears throat> so, one of the other things I want to go into now is how to get the actual bosses on your map. So, if you look here currently, my atoll, volcano, sulfur vents, and Chanel are currently taken over. Feel Chanel, man. So we've got Elder here. I've got Eradicator, Enslaver, and Constrictor. Now, to my knowledge, the way the bosses scale is simply off of the map tier. If it's a white tier map, they're scaled to white. If they're a yellow tier map, they're scaled to yellow. If they're a red tier map, they're scaled to red. And for any other people out there, whatever color of the rainbow you want to be, they'll be scaled to that. To fight Elder, I believe you have to kill these three, which then allows you to go fight uh, the Elder. Now, to unlock them again, you basically just have to kill... Sh not Shaper, but you have to keep doing the little sparkly maps and Elder will start to expand, and after a certain amount, I don't know if it's like 15 maps, if it's 20 maps, 25 maps, it will just automatically put the Guardians on your Atlas, and you cannot do anything to them. You have to actually clear it. So if you're like me, and you want to shape your Atoll, and you kind of fucked yourself over, you have to actually kill the boss. That's what I've been told. I've never tried to wipe it off, but just kind of take that as a little, as a little note. I don't know if you can shape a map that's being occupied by a guardian. I don't know if you want to do that either because it'll just bump it up like five tiers. Now, when you're doing the shaped map, well not shape, the maps controlled by shaper and or elder, you will find a bunch of different stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, go into them. The items on the left are controlled by shaper. The ones on the right are from the elder. With this expansion adds in a bunch of new affixes and mods, whatever you'd like to call them. Now, the first time you find the item, it will look completely different. So, if I take this item, go inside the map, and I drop it, this, you can see the little symbol, shows that it is inhabited. It's, it's an elder piece. Vice versa, the... Oops. The uh, other items, the shaped items, will have that little red thing up at the top. So, these ones can roll specific mods. So, if you look at this claw, it has level 16 brutality. Now, these can, in fact, um, be scoured and recrafted, and, you know, the, the hentai tentacles will not go away. I also want to say the first time you identify it, because I think it has to drop rare, it guarantees that it rolls one of the affixes. So, boom, this is recover 4% of maximum life on kill. If I were to scour it and, and alk it, it's not going to confirm... The rings that bind grow tight. Shut up. It's not going to confirm that I roll a, um, like a, a mod from it, but we'll see. So this rolled 6% increased strength, right? So there's a lot of different affixes that you can find, and you can look at these, like, on the wiki and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, that pretty much covers everything about that. You can get some pretty crazy items, like, I'd like to say this sword is pretty solid. Um, now the... The way the rolls work is they roll in hybrids. So this rolled fire, cold, lightning damage, and then it rolled the 18 faster attacks, which comes in with the increased attack speed. So they kind of go together, which is really cool. It kind of rolls in favor. It makes it a little bit easier to roll specific pieces of gear, but it also makes it so it's also more difficult to roll like super crazy pieces if you're essence crafting. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Just to confirm again with the Shaper Orbs, 
uh, I want to give you guys an example. So Atoll is my tier 6 map. So the tier 6 map would drop me a memory fragment, which she'll then go ahead and turn into Zana, and she'll give you your Shaper Orb, and you shape your map. After that, I would, for example, have to clear... I don't have to, but in this example, I can clear Ramparts. So by clearing Ramparts, um, the Elder would spread over here, and then I'd have to clear it one more time, but it would show the Shaper's Orb circle here. And then from Ramparts, I would go to a T8, which would be Armory, Armory to Vault Tier 9, and you just so on until you have all of your Shaper's Orbs. That's what I've, I've been doing, at least as of right now. Uh, and currently, I've got Beach Shaped, and then Ley Line, and then we did George, and then I think after that, we were going to go ahead and do Atoll, but Atoll's kind of fucked right now, so we're going to have to figure out. I think there's actually one in between those, but anyway, that's pretty much about it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, please, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. I know George did. He'll go meet you over at Chanel. Take care, everybody.